two of our guys want to confront our off-camber suspended log again. I actually did end up with knobby shaped bruises on my upper arm, which is a good thing as now I feel highly qualified to talk about the complex relationship between suffering, existential angst, the pursuit of happiness and the Kardashians. Everyone wants to be happy. You might even find countries that have written the pursuit of happiness into their constitution. There is a danger with pursuing happiness though. You can become a narcissist, which is fancy talk for a dickhead. We discussed this in a recent vid. Focusing too much on chasing happiness can just make you a self-centered dick and actually unhappy in the long run. And of course, we get fooled into thinking more money will make us happier. But research shows people who win millions in the lottery usually return to similar levels of happiness <laughs> or depression. The same research tracked people who became paralyzed in accidents. They too returned their previous happiness levels after the initial shock. The older I get, the more I'm convinced this pursuit of happiness can be self-destructive. We spend two decades or more teaching our kids not to be self-centered. Share your toys with others. Your tantrums will not get you what you want. But many of us become adults then start to behave like kids again. I want it all, and I want it now. The world owes me a living. I want all the benefits of being a first world citizen, but none of the responsibilities. Me, 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 me. But what about everyone who lives with disease, tragedy, or pain? People who wrestle with depression every day, or being a quadriplegic. The pain of caring for an intellectually disabled child for the rest of your life. Some may know of Jordan Peterson, a Canadian psychologist who wrestled with depression for decades. He has quite a different take on life saying, you are tiny and flawed and ignorant and weak and everything else is huge, complex and overwhelming. He goes on to say, happiness is a great side effect. When it comes, accept it gracefully. But it's fleeting and unpredictable. It's just not going to do the job. This solution is different to the self-serving pop psychology of today. It's time to take responsibility for your own life when confronted with the chaos of everyday life. Instead of whining like a child when life isn't going your way, you face suffering with courage and perseverance. This kind of perseverance is an everyday heroism. And I remember seeing this after posting the video about dealing with depression. So many people who are facing their suffering with a courage that no one else can understand unless they have been there too. And meanwhile, the wow. world continues to regard wealthy people or massively well-paid sports stars as the real heroes. <laughs> Me? 
I prefer my everyday heroes who have way more cred. Focusing on others more than yourself reminds me of JFK. Nowadays, it's easy to be cynical about this statement, and I would change it to read, ask not what the world can do for you, but what can you do for the world? So, do what you can to leave the world a slightly better place when you die. Live ethically rather than in the service of self. Face tough times with courage. And surprise, surprise, I bet you will find a deeper, more lasting happiness emerging in your life.